Crystal here from Crystico Design. More, I will get started. I have worked up a starting chain so we can get started straight from the very beginning. For the color block cowl, you will chain 16 to start for your width. First start by single crocheting into the second chain from my um, hook. So not this first one, but the very next one. Skip that first chain, single crochet into this one, and then I'm going to chain one. I will skip the very next chain. Um, you can see here this one gets pulled from being worked into. That's my single crochet in there, so I'm going to skip this one and work into the next. This is where I'm going to work the extended single crochet. To make an extended single crochet, I will insert my hook into the chain yarn over once and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one loop on my hook. Then I will yarn over and pull through two. So I've essentially made like a little chain one and a single crochet on top of it. For the pike stitch specifically, then I will chain one and then we're gonna skip our next chain and work into the following chain. That creates a pike stitch. We're doing another extended single crochet so I insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, chain one, skip the next chain, work another extended single crochet into that one, chain one, skip the next chain, work another extended single crochet. Chain one, skip one. You're going to work all the way across your chain stitches. Okay, so when I get to my last two chains, I'm going to skip this one and I'm just going to work a single crochet into the last one. I've already chained one, skip one to that very last there and work a single crochet. Okay, so before I turn, let's just straighten it out here and get a little look. Okay, so to turn, then here, normally you would chain three to get started in this stitch, but I, for one, really like the way it looks if I use this, what's known as a standing stitch. So you can either chain three or do a standing stitch. So to do my standing stitch, I'm gonna insert it into that chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two to make a single crochet. Then I'm gonna chain two. So this is all part of my standing stitch, which gets me started here at the height I want to be, and it helps fill the gap. A chain three will leave a bigger space here, which is fine for a lot of stitches. Okay, so for my second stitch, I am going to insert my hook to the right of this line, this long vertical stitch here, for all the stitches I make. So here for that one, and here for that one. If you look at the top of your row, which when you're facing away, it's harder to see, you're really inserting it under the two loops right here. Like normal, it's just when you're looking at your work, this is where you'll be putting it. Okay, so for our first extended single crochet, we're going into that extended single crochet. We're gonna yarn over Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. There we have an extended single crochet made. We're going to chain one, insert our hook right here to the right of this vertical stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, chain one. So really we're skipping one here, our chains, and then going into our extended single crochet there. Chain one, skip the chain, go into your extended single crochet to the right of that tall yarn. Chain one, insert here. We're just gonna end with a single crochet. So we chained one and skipped one, 
single crochet right there. Okay, so we're going to turn and we're going to do another standing stitch. So I'm going to insert into the space here, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, do two chains there. And I'll start working my extended single crochets for row three. And chain one and skip one chain and go into the line here. And we're going to skip this one and into our second chain. We are going to do a single crochet. So this is our standing stitch and it has three loops from the single crochet we made into the chain space. Then we chain two. One counts as our chain one skip and then we're going to single crochet into the second middle one there. There we go. And just lay it out. Now we're working in cotton yarn here so it will be really nicely blocked at the end and you can really see the stitch definition. And as you continue to add, this keeps going nice and straight. Now to complete your color block cowl, you're gonna work up 23 rows of each color, or as more little as you like, but that's how I have written it and how I made mine. And so you'll just change your colors at the end there. Okay, so again, just to show you the ends, you have your, your standing stitch that we started with, which is your single crochet, chain two, so you skip one chain and single crochet into the last here. And that's how you get that pike stitch worked up for the color block cowl. You will change colors at the end of your 23 rows and just continue in your new color. And when you get all the way back around, you are going to finish off and sew them together at the ends there. You can see the seam here where I joined those colors. So that is the Pike Stitch tutorial from start with your starting chain to create your own color block cowl. Please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions and be sure to um, tag me in your photos when you make your own. I'd love to see them. Thank you.